All right, well, it's time for the last touches on the MF here. We're going to put on the front end loader today, or the timber blade, so that's going to be exciting. That marks the completion of winter prepping the Massey Ferguson 165 skidder tractor. It's been quite cold lately, so it's going to be interesting to see how it starts up. This is the timber blade that we're going to be putting on, and my plan is to just drive the tractor inside of the front end loader here. Hopefully I can connect the hydraulic hoses here and then I can just lower it down by using the hydraulics. Hopefully it'll slide nicely into these slots here. We can put the bolts in. I need a new bolt on each side. I can't remember exactly, but I think there's a bolt of some sort that either goes through here or just on top to kind of hold it in place. While I was standing here, I put some Vaseline on the cylinder rods just to protect the chrome on the rods here from the elements. Which is a great tip, by the way. If you have any equipment with cylinder rods that are gonna be standing outside for any amount of time, it's a good idea to coat them in white Vaseline. That's a pro, that's a pro tip for you. But anyway, let's get this old Massey started up and connect the timber blade. It actually needs to go quite a bit further up because this part right here should be past this bracket. So the entire loader should be even more tilted upwards so that this part could slide over this one. We need to figure out something here. I'm not sure what exactly, but I'm not sure if the hoses are long enough here, but... 
Well, I guess they are actually. Barely. There's a little bit of ice in here. goes all right Then I guess we can try to lower it down now, see what happens. remember the size of this but oh 38 So here you can see the bolt hole that I was talking about. There's supposed to be a pin in here that I had to torch off and beat out of that hole because it was completely seized up. But what that does is lock the frame of the front end loader to the frame of the tractor. When you're lifting, you don't really need it. But when you're pushing downwards, which you do a lot in order to anchor the tractor down, for winching that's when you need this pin here because when you're pushing the blade into the ground the frame of the front loader here will be forced upwards and that pin prevents it from traveling in that direction so yeah we need that pin i don't think i have anything that'll fit we'll have a look and see if we can find something but if not i'm gonna have to go and buy one well two actually because there's one on each side but yeah that's basically the last piece here and then we need to do some cable management as well here see if we can find something that'll fit. I doubt it, but... Maybe? 
Do I have more than one of those? Nope. But I have these. I have two of these. Let's see. Maybe. Wow. Okay. Those fit perfectly, I think. And the other one too. I'm guessing it's the same size. Oh, that's stuck on the... Okay, we're gonna need the... We're gonna need the vise for that. Oh yeah. The only issue might be the clearance between right here because this arm goes down and I'm not sure if this is protruding too much. Let's get rid of that washer there. Maybe I can go in from behind. Nope. There's not enough space in the behind here so I mean I think it's okay. We can put the washer behind I guess. Not that it really matters but Hmm. Let's put some fluid film on this as well. Let's see if there's enough clearance to where the loader arms will slide past those bolts. Oh yeah! Now we just need to do some cable management here so that we don't clip these hoses. Hose management? I don't know. Just gonna do some t zip ties here. I don't know where my good pliers are. I don't like how close these hoses are to the exhaust here. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to deal with this. That's much better. You can see there's a damage on the hose there, but it's not as close as it looks. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. I think that should be fine. It's a bit close to the generator there, but yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. But that looks all right. I'm happy with that. I can see we have I have an oil leak and it is from that connection there and you can see if I turn this yeah we need to torque that down Alright, hopefully that'll be enough to keep it sealed. Let's put some grease in these fittings here. Um. What? Okay. Well. All 
All right, so that's pretty good. That should be it. Let's uh, just do a quick oil inspection here. Yeah. That one's fine. That one's perfect. It's good. The generator was grinding against this hose here, so yeah, need to do something about that. Oh, it's good enough for now. It should be good. So I bought some new chains. So oh, it's pipe wrench bought some new chains and I'm only going to bring one of these huge big ones here they're a pain to carry around but when you need them they're very nice but usually I don't need more than one anyway so and some shackles for the chains in case we need them put them right in the toolbox here these are the same as the ones I have already here. If you watched my last video, I was kind of looking for the third one. I was pretty sure that I had at least three of them, and I do. The last one is on the timber trailer, of course. So these are just some smaller, these are one and a half meters. I think they're the same length as the other ones here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And these are the ones I use the most, definitely, so it's nice to have a couple more of those. And then I have two of these as well. And these are also one and a half meters, I think. These are a round chain, or well, these are squares. These ones do not bite as well, and also they're kind of bad quality. Yeah, I don't like these. And I think I paid about as much as I did for these, which was a scam. This hook right here, these tend to kind of fall out of it. And so they don't, they don't really stay very nice on the log, in addition to not biting very well. So they're usable, but not for the price that I paid for them. <laughs> yeah, these ones are from Iglan. As you can see, I have a few different ones. I have these and these. Also these huge ones. These are very good. They're quite heavy, so these ones are definitely the best that I've come across. So we have two of these, two of these, and then two of these, which means we have six in addition to that one. And we have three of these keyways on each wire, so that means we have enough chains to fill all of these. And then there's there's another chain at the end of the wire and this one too falls out quite easy but they're usable i use them quite a bit ideally i would like to change these for similar hooks to these ones and i think they fit yeah they do so i might actually might actually do that well would you look at that she's all ready for logging season now we put the chains on in the first video there's no chains and then in the next video, we put the Iglan 5-ton 
twin drum mechanical winch on there and if you haven't seen those two videos i'll leave a link in the description below you can go check it out if you want to and then in this video we managed to successfully install the front end loader the timber blade here which went quite smoothly actually so that's good and as you can see i have my chainsaws and the fuel canister on there i'm not gonna go logging right now today because it's getting kind of late but that wraps up the preparations for winter time for the old Massey Ferguson skidder tractor here. And if you'd like to support these videos and my channel even further, I've set up a page where you can buy me a cup of coffee if that's something you're interested in. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. If not, a like and a comment on the video really helps too. And I appreciate that a lot as well. Thank you. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.